Have you ever heard of or used a variable before? Variables are commonly used in math to store numbers or to represent unknowns. Think of x and y, which are some of the most common variable names in math. Variables also exist in programming. In fact, coding would be exceedingly difficult if we weren't allowed to use them. In this video, we will learn how to create variables in Python and how to store values within them. I already have Thani open and have created a blank Python file called example.py. To create a variable, I start by typing the name of the variable. This can be anything. Let's name this variable papaya. Now, we want to assign a value to papaya. How about the number 5? When assigning values to variables in Python, we use the equal sign followed by the value. This line is a statement which will be interpreted by Python when it runs our code. If I want to create another variable, I can press enter to move to the next line, then declare my new variable. Let's create another variable called my name and assign it the value Dwight. Great, we have now created two variables with two different values. The first variable is storing a number, and our second variable, my name, is storing the text Dwight. Notice that Dwight is surrounded by quotation marks. This is required for variable values which are text. There are several rules to follow when naming variables. We can check that a variable has a valid name by running our program. If I save and run our program, you can see that there's no output to the shell. This is because we aren't yet doing anything with these variables and we aren't printing anything to the shell. That's okay. Since there were no errors, we know our variables are named correctly. If I change papaya to one papaya and run our program, you will see a syntax error has been output. It is also important to note that variable names are case sensitive. If I create another variable called papaya, but with a capital P and give it the value of six, these are two separate variables. There's one variable papaya with no capital P with the value five and our other variable papaya with six. In the upcoming sections, we will learn how to output the value of these variables to the user and how to use them to create more complex programs.